tutorial last, it was at the arpeggio part, where we go D, F sharp, A, D, F sharp, A, D, F sharp, A, D, F sharp, A, D, A, F sharp, and then we have E minor at the top, which is G, B, E. So it's the first inversion of E minor. So we have E minor. Now you're going to go, so it's B, D, G, B, D. Okay, and then you're going to go So as you can see, D is always every other note. Starts on B, B, D, B, G, A, D, C, B, A, B. Let's try that again. B, G, sorry, B, G, A, D, C, B, A, B. And then back to E minor. So let's learn the left hand with that. So first the right hand is Okay, so that's the right hand. Now this left hand is going to be a little tricky with the timing, so bear with me because I might make, mix, make mix mistakes trying to explain this. When you're playing the E minor at the top, you're playing a G major in the left hand. So what you're doing is you're playing G, D, G, D, G. So you have G. E minor chord at first with the G in the left hand, then D. So when you do, the G in the left hand comes down with the second E and D chord. Does that make sense? Keeping with G. So let's think about this. We have so you just keep going. The D is in, you know how the D is in between? The B, G, D, B, G, A, D, C, B, A, B. All of those notes, B, G, A, D, C, B, A, are all played with the left hand. The D is in between all of those notes. I wish I had a better way to show you this. Um, so I don't know if that makes sense. So I'll go really slow. So again, in the left hand, all I'm doing is G first, and then I just keep alternating between D and higher G, D and higher G, until I'm done. So faster. at the top and we're also going to do E minor at the bottom. So it's E, B, E. E, B, E, B, G, B, E, B. Now we're going to go again, same notes, B, D, G, B, D. But this time we're keeping it with the E minor chord. Okay? So when you do that,
notes. So instead of going B to high E, you're going B to low E. is a bunch of triplets. So triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it. So E B E G B E G B E G B E. So the way that the rhythm's gonna go is confusing. Um, let me try, oh uh, yeah. Hmm. Let me see if I can put you at a different angle for this part. Okay, maybe you can see my left hand better now. So it's gonna go... So that's the left hand. Now if you need any clarification on anything, just make a comment in below. I know that this is very confusing and like I said, I'm not experienced doing these tutorials. Okay, so... left hand now we have C. Okay? So we're doing So you have E minor G major E minor E minor G B D position of E minor. E, G, B. So you have C, G, C, G, C, G. And every time you play the high C is when you play the chord. Now we have C major. And when you play this C major chord with the high C, you're going to go in the left hand. Again, back to the E minor in the right hand, first inversion, G, B, E. So you have E minor, G major, 
GBD. And you play that G major chord when you play the D in the left hand. So the D is, or the D major chord is D, E, D, E minor, G major. Okay, I'm going to try to put that all together. Sorry, G major in the left hand. And the way I end it is just with a G major chord, G, B, D, G, and left hand, G, D, G, or just G and G, whichever you prefer. I'm going to show you the right hand up close before I end this. And then, of course, the E minor chord. And then... And then the G, G major arpeggio. And then again, you can start again, or you can end it. Okay, so I'm sorry that was really a lot. Um, if you get confused, just send me any of your questions and I'll be sure to answer them. Um, I hope it wasn't too bad. Um, yeah, good luck.